Hi, Hiram here. Today I want to do a test referring back to a video that I did back on September 24th, 2011. I'm going to use that to test what I'm calling, for lack of better terms, the carbon felt fiber effect. This is the one like I just did the other day where I put this on top of the Trangia and it seemed to make the water boil faster. We've had different explanations to me, given to me. Flat cat, uh, I think, was about the closest to what I've come up with. I think the carbon felt is acting as an insulator underneath the pan to keep the, cold, the temperature of the cold water from affecting the stove. I'm not sure about it making it burn faster, heating it up, because I didn't get that as far as the numbers with the use of alcohol. But what I want to do here is do a repeat of that video that I did. I'll put a link to it down below. It's, people that have been watching my videos may remember these. It's just a little soda can stove. It's the top of a can, about one inch tall. I punched a couple of holes in it. On that last video, Lab uh, 194, I'd light it, and then when I try to put the cold water pan on it, it would put the flames out. I want to see what happens today if I light this and then put the carbon felt on top, see if how much that affects it. Now I have my second camera here shot shooting so that we can get a better angle on the flames. Let's let this burn for just a couple of seconds here. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I think the carbon felt is insulating the cold temperature of the water from the stove, from the burner or stove, which when you cool off the stove, then the vapors go down and the flames go down. Now let's see what happens here. We've got flames going, but as I pull the pan down, see how the flames just about die out? There we go. But let's see what happens when I put carbon felt on. I may have not let that build back up in temperature. Let's get that up. When I tried this before, uh, the flames just came right out. I put it out. Isn't that just the way it always goes? Off camera things work great. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we've got flames there. I put the cold water on. Okay, it affects it a little bit, but we still have more flames there than what we had before. Now, what happened before was when I take this pot off, the felt will go with it. And maybe you'll see how there's flames in the felt because it's, it seems to have absorbed the alcohol vapors. Well, not that time so much. But I don't know, can you see, I hope you can see with the second camera that the felt is stuck to the bottom of the pot. And now there we're getting a bigger flame. Again, because I think the temperature of this water is not cooling down the burner here, which then cuts down the vapor and cuts down the flames. Now the flames are starting to build up. This isn't going to be a boil test. I'm just testing for the flames here. Not so much that time. Okay, so anyway, it looks like the carbon felt kind of acts as an insulator between the cold pot 
and the stove that wants to get warm. Okay, I thought I'd share this with you. See how the flames are getting larger? Okay, well, I thank those that have been sending me their comments, telling me what they think is the effect with this. I think it's kind of neat. See, again, the carbon felt sticks to the bottom of the pot. Now, there it is burning. It does have some flames on it. Don't do this at home. Like I've said many times, I am an idiot. For some reason, that really got alcohol on at that time. It's still, the carbon felt is still burning. Okay. So, before I burn the house down, let me come to an end here. I thank those for the comments. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions with this. Let's see what happens when I put this on. See, the flames go down, but it has been burning long enough that now it doesn't go out. So anyway, as I was saying, thank you for watching. I look forward to your comments, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Boy, I goofed that up. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Know you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin